What up though? This is Philip J. Today, I'm gonna show you how to restore your USB memory stick back to full capacity. Right here, I have a 128 gigabyte PNY USB drive. I use this to download Windows 10 on my desktop computer. But right now, this memory drive is only showing 32 gigs of memory. That's because the Windows Media Player partitioned the drive. Let me show you how to restore this memory stick back to its full capacity. The technique I'm gonna show you is only gonna work on Windows computers. But if you wanna make a separate video on how to do this on a Mac, make a comment below. First thing you wanna do is plug your USB to your computer or laptop. Let's go. Open File Explorer, which is gonna be this little icon here, and then click on this PC on your left side. The Windows and Lenovo Drive combined are my laptop's SSD. The PNY USB is the memory stick. Under type, it says USB drive. You can see the total size is 31.9 gigabytes and the free space is 27.6 gigabytes. You can also check the size by right clicking the file and going to properties. Capacity, 31.9, 32 gigabytes pretty much. You can check the type of file system on your USB by right clicking it and going to format. Mine is FAT32, but I will change it to XFAT. I will tell you more later on. The next step is to go to the start menu and type in disk part and hit enter. Once you get to this screen, you can type in list disk. You'll get a list of all the drives on your computer. So I have disk zero and disk one. Disk zero is my laptop's SSD. Disk one is my USB and it says 115 gigabytes right here. This is that 128 PNY USB. The size usually is smaller here compared to what the advertiser says on the label. If you don't know what disk your USB is, then you can remove it from your computer and type in list disk again. So that's what I'm gonna do. Right now I'm gonna remove my USB from the laptop. Okay, and then type in list disk again. And you can see disk zero is here, but disk one is gone. So that definitely means disk one is the USB. It's very important you select the right drive because you don't want to wipe out your computer's hard drive. So make sure you take the time and investigate which disk is for your USB. Now I'm gonna plug the USB back in and type in list disk again. We see disk one reappears. Now type in select disk one because you want to select that USB drive. Disk one is now selected. Next, type in clean. This will completely delete all the data and partitions off the drive. Disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Then type in create partition primary. This will create a partition in the wiped USB stick. Disk part succeeded in creating the specified partition. Nice. Now let's go back to file explorer and look at our USB drive. So we still have the USB drive here, but the total size and free space is now gone. So let's click the USB drive and go to format. So under format, we actually have the right capacity, 115 gigabytes. That means the USB is back to full capacity. Now let's talk about the file system options. A file system defines how files are named, stored, and retrieved from a storage device. Every time you open a file through your computer, the operating system uses its internal file system to load that file from the storage device. There's different types of file systems. The most common are NTFS, FAT32, and XFAT. Each have their own strengths and weaknesses that we'll go over. Now take a look at this chart from How to Geek. It shows a list of file system and the OS's that they are compatible with. NTFS is a Windows file system. However, it's read only on Mac OS, which I don't like. That means I can't be able to store or transfer files from it. FAT32 is great because it's compatible with all operating systems and there's no external files you need to download with it. XFAT is a newer file system than FAT32 and it's compatible with almost all. It's not compatible with older Mac OS's and with Linux, you'll need to install some packages from what it seems like. Now take a look at this other table. This shows the file systems and individual file size limit that you can store on this type of files. So NTFS, you can store as much as you want. XFAT, you can store as much as you want. Now here's the issue with FAT32. You can only store files that are less than four gigabytes. That might be enough for people who are storing Word files and pictures. I make videos, so I'm storing high quality and large video files onto my USB drive. And I need as much space as possible, and that's why I'll go with XFAT. So under file systems, I'm gonna go with XFAT. For some reason, I can't even choose FAT32. For allocation unit size, you have a few different options, but what I'm gonna do is just hit default allocation size and 
the computer will determine the best size based on your capacity. Now, once you're all set there, you have the capacity, the file system, and the allocation unit size, you can just hit start. All right, it is complete. Let's close out of this. Total file size at 115 gigabytes. That means the USB is restored to full capacity. And that's how you restore a USB back to its full capacity. I hope this video helped everyone out. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them down below. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you.